show you today this pretty cool FAQ dashboard that we built here at Lowcode as a template for our customers. So basically, we implemented a lot of AI in this app, um, and it's pretty straightforward. So you can see here that we have a bunch of FAQs that are coming from our website. So basically, I'll show you how to set this up. But basically, you'll just create these FAQs um, with certain information about uh, what you do, what your business does, whatever. And then here, end users, you can see that I'm not even signed in. So anyone will be able to come in and ask a question. So how much will I spend with low code, right? And I click submit. And then my answer shows up here. So the pricing of low code platform varies depending on whatever. So obviously it's taking into account every single FAQ that you have in your backend in order to answer it in a specific way. There might be the case that I ask a question that does not exist on the platform. So the platform uh, knows that and then it'll, it'll understand that it doesn't have the answer and tell you so. Uh, how much? For example, I'll make this unrelated question. I'm not able to answer your question, but don't worry, I sent a notification to the team. So in this case, me as an admin, I'm getting an email right away here on my uh, email uh, client. Uh, so here I'll say, hey, yeah, send me an email when there's an answer to this query. Agency. There you go. And I just click submit and that's it, right? Um, so now if I show you what the admin sees when they log in. So now I have signed in as Zeus, I'm the app admin owner. So here at the top, you see that I have a couple of tabs. I have my FAQs and my FAQs manager, right? So when I click on this, I can see the, la the latest questions and I can answer questions. So on this one, when I click on latest questions, I can see what people are asking um, the AI FAQ bot. Right? And, and that will give you idea of what your customers are looking for if you embed this to your website, if you integrate to this to a platform, to an app or something. So you can see what people are actually asking about your business. And when I click on answer questions, I'll find these questions that the AI model didn't understand or wasn't able to suggest anything. So what I can do here, I, I click on this and I can uh, delete it or edit a response. So in this case, it's unrelated, but my watch is $350. Then when I click submit, <coughs> that end user who submitted that question will get an email with my answer. And now the other thing that I can do is if this is related to my business and someone asked the question that was not on the FAQs, I can add these to my FAQs and that way anyone else that asks this question will uh, get that answer. In this case, it's unrelated, I'll just delete it, right? Again, as usual, the first the first thing that you'll do when you get this template is come here to add FAQs and basically you'll uh, enter your question and answer and click submit. And that way, as long as you have like between 10 and 20 uh, FAQs, then the AI model becomes very good at answering um, any question that your end user might have. So if I go a little bit into the back end, you can see that we have a bunch of um, a few actions. So it'll be a, an app that will allow you to very easily set up and configure for your own business. Um, obviously, we have some, if I go to the data editor, you can see that we have some AI um, columns and, and queries in order to generate the right response. So pretty straightforward app. Great for businesses who need to delegate this first uh, touch with customers in a customer support setup. Very simple FAQ plus AI client template. So download it, get it today. If you have a more custom and unique need, let us know. We can build whatever you need for your business. That's it for today. Bye.